something like that here in the Ozarks a time or two. All right, tomorrow's going to be a great day to be outdoors, but you have to watch out for the bears, especially if you live out in the rural area. Uh, let's go ahead and check our uh, outdoor forecast uh, because I think it's going to be a real nice day. We'll have a chance for some scattered showers over the area, but uh, by noon, we're talking 78. A few pop-up thunderstorms in the afternoon at 84, and there may still be some isolated activity at 8 p.m., but I think it's going to be uh, starting to wind down at that point in time, but temperatures will drop back down into the upper 70s. Getting a check for the latest temperatures, uh, generally in the upper 60s uh, for our eastern counties, with the exception of Salem, down to 64. Uh, 69 in Harrison, 68 in Branson. Here in Springfield, we're at 71. And Lake of the Ozarks, good evening up there to Camden County, 64 degrees to you all tonight as well. Out of sunshine at 65, notice the flag blowing out here. We have breezy conditions. In fact, those winds are out of the southeast at 16 miles an hour. We have a mostly cloudy sky and 75% humidity. Now, the combination of the cloud cover, the very breezy conditions, and much higher humidity is going to keep our overnight temperatures tonight very warm. So we're only likely to drop just another couple degrees towards our overnight low. 55 was our allergy count today. The mold, the grass are both high. The weeds are at moderate levels. So lots of things floating around in the air. If you are going to be outdoors this weekend and you suffer from allergies, make sure you take that medication. Our hour-by-hour -hour forecast, as I said, temperatures only dropping off a few degrees for the rest of the night. You'll see that reflected here, and we'll keep the cloud cover around, too, by tomorrow morning. As I said, there may be just a few scattered showers. I want to show you something on the satellite picture. See this little batch of thunderstorms out here in northern Oklahoma. Now the weather charts indicate that it may drop just a bit farther south, and then it's going to track onto the east and should move uh, along the Missouri-Arkansas line by sometime tomorrow morning. After that little feature moves out of the way, we'll get some clearing, and it ought to be a fairly decent day. Now, there are some changes on Sunday, too. We're going to have a cold front come through. So here's how the weather map is going to look on Saturday afternoon at 5 p.m. We'll have a cold front out to the west, a few scattered thunderstorms over the Ozarks with this channel of moisture, and then the cold Cold front comes through early on Sunday morning. We'll have some thunderstorms associated with that. That continues to drop south, and we have a very nice afternoon. And then as that high pressure there builds into the Ozarks, it'll set the stage for a beautiful week. So checking in our weather, uh, here's that uh, batch of showers out there in Oklahoma. Helps to kick off a few scattered thunderstorms in the morning. By the afternoon, we get some partial sun. That thing refires up, so there's some additional thunderstorms out there. And then it uh, starts to quiet down on Saturday evening. So if you have plans, Saturday evening, things look to be okay. So that leads us to our forecast and for tonight just a few scattered showers by sunrise or overnight temperatures middle to upper 60s with a south breeze tomorrow a few pop-up thunderstorms but it should be a pretty mild day with high temperatures up in the mid 80s and we'll continue with that south wind and our seven day forecast will be a chance of rain on Sunday morning after that we start to clear things up and dry things out and next week looks just as nice as this week has been guys oh, right.